Hello, my friend, it's Joan Endicott, and I've got a free gift for you I'm excited to share with you today. Um, first, I wanted to show you this lovely uh, view of this resort I'm in down here in Scottsdale Resort that I've been blessed to get to connect with fellow coaches from all over the world, as well as some of my coaching clients. So I'm gonna get set up here to, to share this with you. So if you've followed me for more than five minutes, you know that my I get to message is more than just a message to me. It's a mission. And it began many, many years ago after a friend of mine who was like a little sister was in a terrible car accident after leaving my home. And it left her so brain damaged she could do nothing. It was so devastating and um, yet life-changing in a positive way for me as well. It was, as my friend says, it was a gift wrapped in struggle paper. And weeks after the accident, when the doctor said, this is as good as Lori will ever get, and I was in disbelief. I thought there's no way this could be the rest of her life is in this brain damaged state where she can't take care of herself, let alone those she loves. And the next morning when I woke up thinking about all the things I had to do, I have to get up, get my kids up, get their breakfast made, get their lunches made, get them off to school and then get all this stuff done for work. And I just don't want to do any of it. Like I'm, I just want to pull the covers over my head and let the world go into a holding pattern. I was devastated. I was in shock still that that was actually what they were saying. That was going to be her life. Um, and then God allowed me to simply picture Lori lying up in her hospital bed, unable to do one thing for herself or those she loved. And across my have to, got to list was, I get to. I get to do every one of the things I was just complaining about, griping about, wishing I didn't have to do. And I thought how if Lori had the opportunity to jump out of her own bed, run down her own hall, scoop up her babies, she would do it with such gratitude in her heart. She would never complain. In fact, she would take my list and your list and every other list she could get her hands on and do it with sheer gratitude. And I vowed to God in that moment that I would never say I have to or I've got to do anything again. Because the reality was I realized I was able to in just one split second change my perspective myself and change my attitude myself from looking at what I had to do to what I get to do just by choosing that. Just by choosing to hit the focus button on the binoculars, the lens of life. And it was life-changing for me. And then as I started sharing it with audiences that I speak to and coaching clients, I saw the impact that simple phrase and the simple tool and the emotion behind it had. And how frankly I've heard from people around the world that it's actually helped save someone's life, literally save their life. So I feel humbled and grateful to get to share this message and so we just have made available this book for free in ebook. And so there's gonna be a link on this page for you to go and grab this right now while it's available for free. What I'd love you to do, even if you have the physical book, grab the ebook. You'll also have the opportunity to get the audible if you'd like that. What I'd love you to do is share that also with other people and just send it to people you care about. S send it to people who you know need to be happier, healthier, more optimistic, because that's actually what it does. It helps people be happier, healthier, and more optimistic. Actually, within the first three minutes of reading it and getting it, people are like, that's so simple. Like some people will say, why didn't I think of that? Or that's, I, that's just unbelievably powerful in such a quick, immediate way it changes your emotion and I didn't know this when I first started talking about it but then being able to interview neuroscientists neurologists neurotherapists and people in that world who are way smarter than me <laughs> um, it was so exciting to see that it doesn't just shift your mental and emotional state it shifts your physical state it shifts it 
it releases the feel good hormones instead of the um, stress hormones. And my friend and uh, wonderful colleague, Dr. Debbie Kim said, it actually takes you from an obligatory state in your thinking to an opportunity state. And when you think of looking at your day as I get to get up, I get to go to work, I get to do these things for my family, and you shift it into that opportunity state, everything changes in you mentally, emotionally, and physically. So please grab your copy right now while you can get this for free and share it, share it, share it with people on your team, with people in your community, with people you care about to help them get one more tool to help live a happier, healthier, more optimistic life. And I'd love you to go on over to joanindicott.com and please leave a comment about a way that this has either encouraged you or a way that you're going to use it, like something that's been challenging for you and you're gonna go, I'm gonna start saying I get to do that, whether it's cleaning toilets or working with clients or doing paperwork, which is one of my least favorite things to do. I'd love to hear from you, but more importantly, the other people reading those comments may resonate with what you're saying, even more than what I'm saying. So thanks for sharing. Thanks for um, getting the message out there. Because as you and I know, people need hope right now. And if we can just give them one more tool, one more thing to think about, to you know, put in their tool belt of life, to avoid the landmines, we want to do that. All right, till next time, God bless you. See you in the comments.